damn look at that it looks better in person currently driving i've been driving today maybe a couple times to go places and there's been tons of cops about considering there hasn't really i mean it's not as strict as it was it's still on the strictness but it's not as strict as it was Fuck, he's got. All oh, right, I thought one of my lights were out then. It's about to. I was about to fuck it up. <sighs> Shit. Petrol is low. But we're always gonna make it. Oh shit, this guy here, man. Keep your heads down, boys. Keep your heads down. Fucking right on, brother. Oh shit, there's a baz, baz, el bazo, el bazo. That was my year. We call him El Bazo, you see, because um, my first ever job. He was there. And actually, recently, I've been trying to message him, but it's just weird, like, how the universe falls in place, you know what I mean? You try, like, getting in contact with someone, there's no way of doing it, and then you just see him like that. It's fucking mad. Maybe he's like, maybe he's like fucking, he's like waiting to go work or something, you never know, do you? But anyway, that's mad that is. I'll tell you a story about Baz. Baz was a sous chef when I started working at the uh, George, which is somewhere over there. My first job in Wales. I was a pot washer. Shit, pay £6 an hour even though I was fucking 19. £6 an hour, can you believe it? And it was just fucking hell, can you? And he was a sous chef in the room. First time I met him, didn't know him. I'm, I, I'm, I'm quite shy when it comes to meeting new people. And it was just like there was no awkwardness there, like awkwardness there with him. So he basically locked me in one of them big fucking storage freezer things, you know, I'm walking fucking freezers all my days and never shit me pants. Absolute shitting. But then it got me like, it was a good team. So. That last clip, you saw a car and I just dropped the camera because it was a fucking police car. And I wasn't sure if it was going to turn around and fucking just come for me because I had my phone like this, like this, like it could see it. Hey, fuckery, so I'll just... <coughs> I don't want to get out just in case it's fucking there. Like, I've tried to hide behind a load of trees on the road so we don't have a fucking clue where I'm at. Keep getting in fucking trouble, you know, like it's pissing me off this. I do it to myself, I shouldn't do it, but I do. Oh shit. Let's show you where I'm at. I don't think it's coming for me. But I mean, look, you can see the road there, but you can't see the car. And then you can't see the car there. Why do I do it? I got a fucking speeding ticket, right? A speeding ticket. That's fucked me up a lot. You know, I fucking, my insurance today could have been 500 quid, but the fucking speeding ticket. 960 quid, so. 400, 500 more quid just for a speeding ticket. And then if that fucking cunt saw me on the phone. Oh, it's fucking game over for the lot of us. Oh shit. Is this a fucking copper? Is it? Yo, I don't even want to know one sec. Why do I panic? Oh, as soon as I see that fucking cop car, yeah, I fucking stepped on the gas in it about 80. In about no time, like, I was out of there, make sure he didn't see my fucking red or anything. Oh, my days. Oh, scary. Right, I think we're going to make a move. 
hopefully now I can see anything. Shit. But it's crazy or like where you start, like I started with like not saying I'm a like you know fucking millionaire or anything but literally I started with nothing like nothing I had no money to my name I was so fucking confused I was I was scared about getting a job I was fucking <sighs> it's just difficult life you know like you'll find out when you get older but it's just difficult like I was nervous getting a job and then I started out with nothing. I remember like I wanted a pair of trackies and um, I didn't have any money. And I ended up having my cousin buy them for me. I didn't ask what it was like, oh do you want them? Because they were them fucking I've never had like a nice pair of trackies. I was I had baggy ones from my next that were bloody just you know I can't remember that. I had nice trackies and stuff, but everyone in the workplace had people younger than me. I was like 18. People younger than me earning more money. They had cars and shit. And now I have a nicer car than any of them. Like, any of them anyway. Like, it was weird. Like, I was there like, ah, fuck, why is everyone better than me? I still don't think. I'm nowhere near where I want to be, to be honest, but it's just, I start with nothing and then how time goes on, you have to discipline yourself and focus on what you really want, you know, like I wanted to, a car, so I weren't the time to go out drinking and stuff, so I always, I ended up distancing, distancing myself. I was so focused on what I wanted and now like I do training like I've just been training for football now um, because it's what I want I'm around no one I'm by myself I'm isolated and that's 24-7 never mind this isolation it's 24-7 but it's weird how it all starts off in it it's just weird hopefully I can get to where I want to be like me and him I go way back. We used to go where uh, the guy who lives there now uh, there's a work there somewhere. And we used to go on jobs with him, the owner, he has a house and shit in like Manchester and obviously I'm from Manchester so we used to go to like Withenshaw and fucking Ashley. It was called Ashley near uh, Manchester Airport where Cristiano Ronaldo crashed his car I went there. And um we were moving like furniture out of hotels and it was like, you know, hotels that were shutting down and he was using it for his new hotel so got paid like £100 a day which was sick as fuck for like 8 hour days but I had to travel a lot to Manchester and Wrexham and that and then we had bonfires in Baller and stuff with Baz El Bazo and he's from Brummy so if I call him a yam yam he goes fucking mad I should try next time proper sick we go back a long way, me and him are very close mates, we probably stayed in touch more than probably anyone that I've worked with to be honest, it's weird, he's just one of them, he talks a lot of this shit like he came in, he was there like, uh, he doesn't drive, he's never passed the driving test but he was there like, oh yeah just passed the driving test, I got 96 points on my license or something, and I was there like fuck. You can't even get 96 points, you fucking daft cunt. He's like, yeah, 96 points, and you fucking, uh, you're fine, you're going to fucking ban for two years, isn't it? And I'm like, right, sick, right, so. Are you getting a car? Yeah, I got one, I'm just waiting for it to so sit my house and shit. And you don't even live at a house where there's like an actual garage and shit, so it's quite fun. We nearly the home, come on, 30. Oh shit, nearly curved my fucking wheel then, you cunt. Lucky thing, this is where my cousin lives, nice. But the lockdown is nearly over, like, we're still having mad deaths, like, 288. It could be fucking 700 tomorrow, so I'm not taking anything, um, what they say, like, yeah, well, ease the lockdown, we, we can get back to school. We can get back to work. I don't want to go to work ever, ever again because it's fucking shit. 
you do realise that it's the worst thing ever work. I never want to go. It's just when you realise you get a job and that your whole life just bam, done. Pissing me off. I'm trying to escape from reality. And that's how it is. Let me find my demons, dog. So I'm trying to find a job where it's less hours or fucking something like that. Less hours, less hours, more days, less hours. Fuck me, I just seen someone jogging. And it was the slowest fucking jogger I might have ever seen. And he was wearing a cap, you know, oh, me, I tell you, some people. Yeah, so I'm trying to find a job where it's less hours, so maybe the same money, but less hours. Means more happiness to myself so I can focus on me. I've been trying to focus on me, but it was weird. I had to get my shit together. It was something I didn't want to do, but I had to do it. And uh, I've got a lot of things to be grateful for, but still a lot of things that I would like. Anyway, we le uh, released a video and you got one view. Nice one. Cheers, everyone who subscribed. Cheers. That was nice of you. One view. This is the end of the vlog. I shall catch you later.